Hey, hey, Spirit Boosters, how y'all doing? It is me, Janita, back again with another video. And I have made a video previous to this one. Can't get it up. And when it does come up, it's going to be out of order. Because my computer broke down, my files, I can't use them. I lost all my videos and all kind of stuff going on. So I got to make up another trailer. I got to do all this new stuff. I got another editor. I got to see how to use it. So if this video come up and it just look crazy or don't seem right, it's because I'm trying to learn how to use the new editor I got. It's um, Wondershare Fillmore. And um, yeah, my son was telling me that's what he used. So finally, I got an editor, but I just have to learn how to use it like I learned how to use the editor for this camera here that I'm using to make videos with I don't have a I don't make the videos with a cell phone I use a Fuji camera I guess everybody just uh, record videos differently but anyway that's what I'm using but how y'all doing anyway y'all see my small little haul I am so behind I apologize but I just told you what my blues are, what the troubles I'm having. And I've just been disgusted and all kind of goings on and what's happening and all kind of things that I'm sharing with y'all today. Hope y'all all doing well, but we all got, you know, things. Everything ain't perfect in, in this old world. And stuff happens. Like I was discussing, I don't even know if that video, did that video come up when I was telling y'all about when your major appliances or whatever, and my computer was a major appliance, <laughs> and that sucker broke. I got one, but I'm still having problems, so I don't know when this video be up, but I hope y'all enjoy it whenever it does come up. You see, I got some honey buns back there. I got some pure pumpkin. I got some, what is that, Punk, Perfectly Pumpkin Premium Cake Mix. I said I had to have that one. I had to tr get that product. And I got this Pumpkin Spice. This was in a previous video, but y'all ain't seen it. Because like I said, when all my appliances broke down and everything went to shit. Just like that. And I'm just, dis I guess you say discombobulated or whatever. I'm just all jacked up over here. I'm trying to do the best I can with what I have. And hopefully it'll be decent. Because my little stuff I was using before, at least I had something to work with. Now I got to start all over to make, um, you know, videos and things like that. Titles, trailers, all kind of stuff. But I'm glad I did. Like my son had me purchase the Wondershare more editor system so now I guess I can make those thumbnails like I admire people when they have three four different pictures up there and I was wondering why I can't do that because I needed an editor so now I have one and hopefully it'll be fine and I'll learn how to use it quickly because I do have a little skills from using that other thing but this this editor has a lot more uh, stuff on it and hopefully I figure it out quickly and I can use it y'all see I got some more beanie weenies down there and now you, let me tell you before any of y'all get started let me put up here the other beanie weenies let me see if I see a can hold up okay there's a can I didn't want to put my ashy ass hand in the big camera but there we go this beanie weenie that I got previously was smoked hickory this Beanie Weenie came from Sam's Club. I don't know if y'all know, but they Sam's Club got 12-pack Beanie Weenies. They $9. And they were sold out. And then when they got them back in, I just picked up two. Uh, yeah, that's what I picked up two. So now I got the original Beanie Weenie. And it's just beans and tomato sauce flavored with sliced chicken franks. Just like you would make your own beans and weenies. But this is just a little convenient way. We're going to definitely, I'll probably cook some of this with some barbecue, baked, baked barbecue chicken tomorrow. But yep, y'all, I got me some mobini weenies. And yes, we're going to eat them. 
I guess I'll mix, I don't know, the smoke hickory with a regular one. It don't matter. And then I got two convenient little onion powders. Because I can, don't, don't, don't um, doubt me. I do got a big giant one. But I like these little ones just to be right there when I just need it. Right where I can fit in that little spice rack over here by the stove. Y'all say I had some honey buns. And I showed y'all the pumpkin cake. And back there I got the mini manteca dust. Bimbo little uh, corn cake. Little cake. Uh, uh, what it is? Did I say what they is? No, I did not say. <laughs> yes, I did. But anyway, um, they are mini little pound cupcakes, I believe. They they just right. They have the right amount of sweetness in there, and they got on their expired November. Well, they'll be gone, cause I'm when my son come over here, I'm planning on giving him so much stuff. And I got me some oatmeal flavored instant oatmeal. I like oatmeal. And I'm a, I, I am going to be eating these up for something for breakfast. And I got some Duke mayonnaise. I know I shared with y'all I had some other mayonnaise. But them little small jars of mayonnaise I showed you guys. That stuff used up so fast. And they downsize the packaging and all that good stuff. And that reminds me, talking about packages. Have y'all read this article i seen online? And it was talking about how they are repurposing uh human waste foods and they're repurposing it as um some and made it into some animal feed okay feeding these pigs all this um the, the deal about is let me get it out because i know i'm fumbling and stumbling all over my thoughts and words okay what's going on they are repurposing human waste food and what they're doing is they I guess allegedly, uh, okay, all of this is allegedly. Allegedly, they're too cheap to hire people to come in and remove. Like you see, these packages got plastic wrap, cardboard, whatever. They are too cheap, allegedly, to hire someone to come and remove the packaging off of the wasted food products, whatever it is. So, instead of them, they do, instead of them doing that, they throw it all in the grinder and repurpose it and make an animal feed so in other words the animals are eating all kind of chemical and all stuff grind up in the food and they really talking about uh, animals like pigs and stuff like that i guess because they say pigs eat any dang thing so the pigs ingesting all this mess and then they get slaughtered and then we ingesting them and so they say we're ingesting the plastic too and it got to the point where it just had me going, whoa, wow, is allegedly they're saying that the plastic, don't even think y'all getting away with saying, ooh, some of y'all like vegetarians or y'all just grow organic fruits and vegetables, and y'all saying, ooh, thank God I don't do that. Okay, don't get too happy too quick. <laughs> because allegedly they're saying that this plastic is in the air, it's in the rain, it's everywhere, and it's even in the soil. So you can't get away from these chemicals and ingredients and stuff like that because a lot of this stuff is being washed, soaked, blended, all kind of mended and grind, you know, all this stuff is being mingled in with all food stuff and everything. So you can't get away from not ingesting, breathing, absorbing all of these chemicals and stuff in the world so on that note all this is allegedly if y'all heard about that article let me know in the comments if not google it yourself look it up and another thing y'all heard about the green gas i guess y'all know greenhouse gases and the climate control and they say we're in trouble because the glaziers melting all the other good all the other good stuff whatever well one of the big problems they said like some people say they vegetarians because animals produce methane i believe it is y'all ain't got to quote me on it y'all just google all this stuff yourself and and that gets into the atmosphere and it's jacking up our climate climate because i guess the planet is overheating the green gases are good but when they can't handle 
all this pollution in the air, then that's when the planet start heating it up. So if y'all didn't care about climate control, I hope what I'm sharing with you is making you realize, oh, that's what they're saying. Yes, that's what they're saying. It is affecting the um, our planet because the planet is heating up because the green gas, green glass gases can't absorb all the heat and pollution that's being put out into the universe and this is a global problem and if and, and one of the uh, solutions is that if we stop eating meat because it takes a lot to for meat production and that causes a lot of methane they say going in the air and that's damaging the climate so if everybody didn't eat meat that would help a whole lot, but we can forget about that because no one, I think, is giving up their steaks, roasts, ribs, and all this other delicious taste of meat that they have out in the universe. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's very serious. Y'all need to Google this stuff, see what the hell going on on this planet besides waking up, eating shit, and going to bed. You know. Besides going to work, coming back, eating, sleeping shit. Oh, sexing too. <laughs> Let's not forget that one. But anyway, um, yeah, y'all need to check all this stuff out going on in the world. Because the planet is in danger. And some people don't believe about that stuff. But I believe it. And, you know, good thing we do have people out there that are researching and observing all of these things going on on the planet. While everybody, like I say, don't pay attention to nothing but eating, sleeping, drinking, and getting high, whatever. Fucking, excuse me. I didn't mean, well, it came the hell out. It just slipped out. Some of my thoughts are very, very intense. If that was intense to anybody. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I apologize to people that do get sensitive. But I tell you, this is a grown channel. Grown is sexy. <laughs> For all the grown and sexy people out there. Yeah, so. Y'all, like I said, if you don't like one video, get on to another one it's just to help Miss Janita support this channel. Because I told y'all what my goal is to be monetized. And I've been struggling for years trying to get monetized. But anyway, let me stop making these long-ass videos because I don't want to use up all my memory. I just got this, so I just realized when I do these long videos, I'm using up all my little time. It's only some hours on here. If I do 30 minutes, shit, I done used up all my little car. But anyway, if any of these topics got y'all to want to, you know, check things out or to wonder and getting y'all uh, brains, uh, you know, rotating, circulating, get the blood pumping, <laughs> I'm glad to be sharing some what's going on and what's happening in the universe. And on another note, what else? I put, oh yeah. Something happened at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know where. I seen this article. And Dunkin' Donuts had put out in the universe that they ran out of donuts due to supply chain issues. It's a lot of supply chain issues going on. We all know. Well, a lot of us already know because some of us have been in the store and seen empty shelves and lack of this and a lack of that and a limit on this and a limit on that. We all have experienced this. Well, most of us anyway. But some places are getting their little supply. Some aren't. It just depends on if they hired out some, you know, some, uh, what you call it, some private uh, services to get the food on the shelf. But anyway, y'all still got to hurry and put y'all packages out early. Because, you know, the mail going to be late, slow, snail, slow, whatever. And all kind of other goings on what's happening. I ain't mentioning it because I forgot. And also, i seen an article about Nestle products. They say that some Nestle products are being recalled. I think it's fruit bars. I'm not really sure. You guys got to Google all that stuff. Some food's being... That's what I was going to say. Food. We got food troubles. Food contaminated. Food troubles. Food shortages. Yep. Supply chain issues. Sticker shock. And the bottlenecking at the pier is still going on. And so, if y'all having a great day, let me know in the comments what y'all doing, how y'all doing. But I'll share with y'all my blues. And hopefully, like I say, I'll learn how to use my editor and stuff like that. And uh, that's about all my goings on. 
I had, I have, um, I had to, um, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off here. I had to, uh, change where my, how my package got delivered for that sorry ass delivery people. So, hey, I know some of y'all try to be all cute about it. Some people, when, you know, they'll say, all that, oh, it's okay, be, it be a little problem. Please get the hell out of here. You spending money for that service. Them people supposed to act, come correct and act right and bring you your stuff. Ain't no coming over here with no attitude. Your job is to deliver groceries, not to get attitude with the customer because you got a problem with delivering the groceries. Fool, that's your job. Oh, okay, I got to calm down. I got to calm down. Oh, oh. Let my amnesia kick in. Okay. So I can forget all about this stuff. Okay, it's happening. I think I better get off here. Did I give a tip of the day? The tip of the day is um, count your plastic intake calories. Bye.